It's Terry Sweeney with Light Reading, coming to you live from MEF 19 in downtown Los Angeles. I am happy to be joined today by Craig Easley, Dean of Academic Affairs for the SDUN Academy. Craig, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me, Terry. Tell us a bit about the Academy. Okay. So the, um, the, the SD-WAN Academy is one of the MEF's accredited training providers. Our focus is on the new MEF certifications, the SDN NFE Professional Cert, as well as the brand new SD-WAN Professional Cert called the SDCP that the MEF just recently released. Is, is the work that you're doing with MEF more than just the, the, the academy and the certifications? or? It is. What, what so, does that entail? So, so I've been a long time contributor to the MEF from the technical committee and the marketing and certification committees. Uh, but now uh, I'm mostly focused on training the individuals and helping develop and evolve the MEF's professional certifications programs. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about the technical areas that you're focusing on with yeah. the certifications? So it's mostly the SD-WAN cert. So MEF sure. 70 and MEF 90 have been uh, and, the, and the professional certification that, um, test and the exam that's come out of, uh, of those documents. I've also been involved in the life cycle service orchestration or LSO stuff that I heard somebody refer to yesterday as ELSO. Uh, so <laughs> But the orchestration and sort of the network automation uh, things have captured my attention and I've been focusing most of my efforts on those. Great. Um, because SD-WAN is, is a, I think, can safely be called a, an emerging technology and thus a moving target, how do you focus the, the certifications since this is mm -hmm. such an evolving technology? You're absolutely, you hit the nail on the head, Terry. It's, it's not only emerging, it's chaotic out there. You've got all, a bunch of different vendors doing their own thing, different capabilities. Um, selling to an audience that's highly unknowledgeable of uh, all, how all this stuff works. And so there really is a demand for education and how do these, what are the piece parts, how do they function, what are the questions that I should be asking my potential suppliers, and how do I develop a, a deployment strategy that makes sense for, for my company. All right. Um, what benefit do you see MEF's training and certifications programming being to the service providers and carriers. Yeah, so, so it goes all the way back to their first professional certification, the CECP, where we established a baseline of understanding of the MEF technical specifications and, and got everybody sort of um, using the same language or singing from the same hymn book. So when somebody talked about a uh, precisely defined MEF term, everybody now knows what that means. In the SD-WAN world, the MEF 70 document is uh, the first attempt to standardize the terminology around things like SD-WAN edge and controller and orchestrator and what's an overlay or an underlay uh, connectivity service. All of those things will help people um, refer to things as the same thing and, and, uh, and, and eliminate the talking past each other that so often happens with new technology. All right, great stuff. Thanks, Craig. Um, just real briefly, though, um, how does it help you to uh, be known as uh, an MEF accredited training partner? So the, um, I, I'm, I'm really still engaged with our existing clients that we, um, that we helped get certified through the Carrier Ethernet Certified Professional. So it's the same service provider companies that we trained on Carrier Ethernet who are now in, interested in having us come in and train them for SD-WAN. Having the affiliation with MEF, which is, and MEF and, and now you know, we're partnered with, uh, with ONUG, are really trying to um, put some standards around the SD-WAN landscape. And so I think being able to refer to some of the emerging standards uh, work will benefit every, everybody, and it will be the basis of our training. Great stuff, Craig. Thanks so much for joining us today, and thanks for the information. Thank you, Terry.